What's up guys, it's your boy Tyler, back with another YouTube tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to install your very own custom music bot. So, first things first, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, now let's get into the actual tutorial. So, in the video description there's going to be quite a few links, the first of which is going to be this here link. There are going to be two of them, one is for 32-bit, one is for 64-bit. Uh, if you don't know which one it is, odds are it's 64-bit, so just click the second one. And uh, if you know you have a 32-bit one, then you get 32-bit. So anyway, you go to this website and it'll download Python. Open it up, and then click Install Now. And that's it. The setup was successful, so now you can just close that. And then go to the other link in the description, which is Git for Windows, blah, 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 blah. Uh, so download this, and we'll download Git, a couple numbers, exe. Open it up, click yes, Windows pops up, click next, 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 install. Let's go through all that stuff, and then wait for this one to install. And we are done. Don't need to review the release notes and finish. Now we are going to add Mega. So go to the link in the video description. There are quite a few links. One of them is a uh, link to our channel. Make sure you subscribe. And another link is uh, goes to right here. It is uh, Mega.z. Bunch of numbers. Uh, so open that, and then it should take you to this page, click download through your browser, and it'll start downloading, and then give it one second. It literally takes, like, maybe one second if you have faster internet than I do, so. Now that that has been downloaded, open it, and then uh, this is, like, the bot file that you're going to be needing. So just slap that wherever you want it to be. I want it on my desktop, along with my other Discord bots. So right here we got Discord music bot. So now don't need the other thing anymore. So open it up, it goes to this thingy. So step one, go to config options.ini, and then I'll open up this thing. Make sure it opens in Notepad++. Don't open it in Notepad, it won't work. Nothing will work about it. So. The second link in the description is going to take you to this. It should be Discord, your apps. It'll probably, it'll probably take you to like a Discord login screen, but since I'm already logged in, like once you log in, I'll take you to this. Anyway, click on a new app, right? And then just name it whatever you want. I'm gonna call my Discord tutorial app icon. Let's see here, let's, that one, boom. Done. So add a description, icon, all that stuff. None of that's required, but you, the, the only thing you need is a name. But, I mean, honestly, if you're going to make a bot, add a heckin' profile picture, especially when it's dang that one. So, next up, you're going to create a bot user, blah, 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 yes, do it. And then click to reveal the token, and then highlight all this stuff, oh, not all that. Highlight this code, and go back into Notepad++, and then paste it right there. So, now you got that, control, save, and there's one thing done. Next up, we gotta find the owner ID. So, to do that, we go into Discord, and then uh, user settings, then go into uh, da -da -da, appearance, scroll down until you see advanced developer mode, make sure this is turned on, and then uh, once you just flip that little switch, escape, then come in here. What you're gonna do is right click on yourself, and then, um, so, so, you know, right click on yourself, if you're not in the chat, just be like, hi. Right click, copy ID, then go back into Notepad++, select insert ID, and then paste your ID. It should look something like that, with a bunch of numbers, about that long. So, now we are done with options.ini, so we can close out of this. And now we are able to uh, go back into Discord Music Bot, wherever you saved it. And then double click on runbot.bat, it should open up this thing. Wait for it to load, it should say connecting, and then it will pop up with a bunch of stuff. There it is. 
So it will give you this link right here. This link, you save this somewhere, like bookmark this baby in case you kick your bot or something, or one of your mean friends kicks your beautiful bot that you spent time on. So paste it, you know, copy this, paste it into your web browser, whatever you want, and then it should be the name of your thing, profile, blah, blah, blah. So you have to make sure you have the managed server, like make sure it's your server or one of your friends gave you permission the managed server permission to uh, do that. So then select what server you want. So we want it on Kiwis Club, authorize. And then it'll pop you up with uh, authorized. You may now close this window or tab. So close that window or tab. <laughs> then go back into uh, your command prompt thingy. Close out of that. And go back to runbot.bat and double click it again. Now it should connect. And then pop up with a couple of things like this done so if it worked you should see server list and then the name of the server that you are in and uh now that you've done that come down here and boom discord tutorial bot is in the server so here's one really important step that you need to make sure you do is like make sure you make a bot's permission or some type like make a group like give the bot permission over everything because uh it doesn't it'll glitch out a lot of stuff if you don't if you don't do that so discord tutorial done make sure it has permissions done so now it should work so go to general exclamation mark summon will bring it into here and then since I have a song in the auto playlist which we can talk about in a second it uh, may or may not automatically play that yes it will so download started give it a little bit and then uh, it will play. What's on See? with Ooh. Mo Bros? And today we are going to expose Gary. Oh, we yeah. we got this diss track going, and we got Kiwi, former Ice to member. Oh, so yeah, yeah, this is just a um, and, uh, and we got one of our old videos, like a diss track on one of our friends. It's fire. You should go watch it. Uh, I'll have a card or and a link in the description. You know, click it, like, and subscribe to me. Uh, fidget spinner giveaway. Okay, so. Now that you're done with that, uh, we're actually going to run the bot again. <laughs> I didn't mean to close out of it, but uh, okay, that was quick, it opens up. So now go back into Discord and then do exclamation mark. This is the optional section, but I would like, like the optional but highly recommended section, so I can actually disconnect. So uh, come in Kiwis Club or whatever the name of your Discord is and then do exclamation mark list IDs hit enter and you should get dm'd by your uh whatever your bot is called and then like with a text document right so open this thing uh show in folder yeah i have a notepad plus plus again use notepad plus plus notepad spanks compared to notepad plus plus so now you see all this stuff and uh this is just a bunch of ids that you are going to need so now this, what we're going to do now is uh, set it to automatically join like a voice channel and make it so you have to chat in a specific thing. So um, so what this would do if like, so when your bot joins the channel, the only, like, like if you did exclamation mark play in main or exclamation mark skip or any command, nothing would pop up. So you have to do it in music or else like it doesn't work, which is good because it keeps like all this stuff away from you know where people are trying to have conversations so that's what we're gonna do right now just skip this I'll have like a little time popped up somewhere telling you when to skip to but um yeah so we're gonna <laughs> get right into this so go back to uh, Kiwis Club IDs and stuff and then go to options find channels and then um, just delete uh, make sure you delete the semicolon. It will not work. You don't do that. Like, pretty much everything in here is, like, crucial. Like, if you skip one step, it, it won't work at all. So, bind to channels, blah, 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 blah. So, see where it says insert ID? Where you gotta get that ID. So, this is going to be the uh, text channel that you want. So, these are text, like, you know, these are all the text channels. These are all the voice channels. So, we obviously want it to be in music. So, copy that ID and then paste it where insert ID goes, and then now we're going to auto-join the voice channel, which we're going to delete the semicolon, delete insert ID, and come back here, 
voice channel IDs. It's kind of hard to read because we have emojis and all of our stuff, but music, blah, 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 a bunch of weird characters. That's the number we need. Paste, save, done. And now if we close this bot, open up our files, run bot.bat, then go to Discord once it joins. Done. It automatically joins those channels and uh, will only work in this text channel. So that's that. So now what we are going to do is make it so that what, what do I need to do now? Uh, make the permissions happen so that you can. Um, what am I trying to say here? I have no idea. My train of thought just got derailed. Okay, uh, just go to config permissions and what we're gonna do here is we're going to make these uh like we're gonna give a specific role in discord uh all permissions so that they're able to like control the bot and then this is just the default one they can pretty much play songs and that's it so um yeah so again we have an insert id right here go to uh the whatever the name of the, you know the big ID text file, and then uh, role IDs right here, and then blah 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 blah. DJ is the one we want. So you're gonna have to make a role in Discord before you do that, or just set like owner or co-owner or something like that. Members, you know, just pick a role, copy your role's ID, and then uh, paste it right here. And again, if uh, you have to like that role has to be created before you do exclamation mark list IDs. So if you got to this point and you don't have a DJ role, go back to Discord, make a new role called DJ, and then exclamation mark list IDs again with the bot open, and then it will give you this thing. And uh, that's about it. One more thing I'm going to show you is the auto playlist. So auto playlist.txt is just like double click on it. This one you can use notepad for, and then uh, you just paste like YouTube or SoundCloud links. Uh, into here and it'll just play them automatically without you having to do stuff so for us like whenever we stream all of our background music comes through our music bot and just the massive auto playlist that we have of like 100 to 200 songs that we just you know went through all of our playlists and pasted them all into there so uh, yeah that's it so thanks for watching to the very end I'm sure most of you left by now but um, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, join our Discord, and uh, see you guys in future videos and live streams. Bye bye.